वेलकम टू द वर्चुअल क्लास ऑफ लर्निंग कव थियोरी इन प्रीवियस सेशन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड बेसिक्स ऑफ लर्निंग कव थियोरी एंड इक्वेशन अप्रोच एंड टुडे इन दिस सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस वन मोर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन इक्वेशन मेथड और इक्वेशन अप्रोच लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट the usual learning curve model is y equals to a multiplied by x raised to minus b where b equals to 0.322 for learning curve rate of 80% if a is equal to 10 hours and learning curve rate is 80% calculate average time for 10 units total time for 20 units are produced total time taken for 40 units and last time taken to produce 41 to 50 units in this question the examiner has already given learning coefficient that is value of b 0.322 in a ready made form and a equals to time taken to produce first unit this information is ready made given to us in previous session we have completed calculation of learning coefficient but in this question value of learning coefficient is ready made given so calculations are not required one more important instruction that in this particular question the examiner has also provided us information related to log and anti logs for different values here log 1 log 2 log 3 log 4 and log 5 are given as we all know that log table starts with a double digit so we need to consider this one as 10 2 as 20 3 as 30 4 as 40 and 5 as 50 so don't interpret this as 1 2 3 4 5 5 otherwise it will leads to you towards confusion after understanding of this we need to solve the given problem as i said value of a ready made given to us b that is a learning coefficient it is also ready made given to us first we need to calculate average time for 10 units then we will calculate total time for 20 units are produced then total time taken for 40 units and at last we will calculate time taken to produce 41 to 50 units let us move to the solution the first item that we need to calculate is all about average time taken for 10 units a time taken to produce first unit 10 hours this information is ready made given to us then x total numbers of production units at present we are calculating for 10 units so total number of units are 10 b learning coefficient the value of learning coefficient is ready made given to us in our question it is 0.322 suppose in any case value of learning coefficient is not given we better know how to calculate learning coefficient using the formula and why average time taken to produce 10 units because our cal calculation is based on 10 units only for question number 1 let us insert formula the formula is a very simple and having four different factors y is equal to a 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एक्स रेस टू माइनस बी वाई इज इक्वल टू ए टाइम टेकन फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फर्स्ट यूनिट दट इज अ टेन एक्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन यूनिट्स और यू कैन से क्यूमुलेटिव नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन यूनिट्स दीज नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स आर टेन एंड लर्निंग को एफिशियंट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू टू लोग वाई इज इक्वल टू लॉग टेन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू टू लॉग टेन एज वी ऑल नो विदाउट यूजिंग लॉग टेबल इट इज वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम विद द हेल्प ऑफ सिंपल कैलक्युलेटर विद द हेल्प ऑफ साइंटिफिक कैलक्युलेटर इट इज पॉसिबल बट साइंटिफिक कैलक्युलेटर इज नॉट अलाउड सो वी नीड टू यूज लॉग रिदमिक टेबल नाउ चेक द लॉग एंड एंटर द वैल्यूज इन द फॉर्म्यूला लॉग वाई इज इक्वल टू 1.000. This information of log value is given to us as a part of the question. So we are not supposed to check this value in the log table. Directly pick up the value from the question and insert in the formula. Then minus 0.322 as it is, and log 10, two digits. So two minus one. Equals to one, and value of ten in log table is zero zero zero. Now it is very much simple to solve the equation. Log y is equal to one minus zero point three two two. This zero point three two two is nothing more than result of the multiplication of these two items. log y equals to 0.678 this 0.678 is the result of 1 minus 0.322 and then check the value into anti log to derive the result in your question value of anti log for 0.678 is ready made given so the result is y equals to 4.764 at this point of calculation i would like to inform you that this 4.764 is average time taken to produce one unit when we are producing 10 units so if in case total time required to produce 10 units are supposed to be asked by the examiner simply 10 units multiplied by 4.764 and you will get total time to produce 10 units 47.64 hours always concentrate on the information given in the question in order to understand the perfect accurate answer after discussion of first question let us move to the second item given in our question as a part of a second item we need to calculate total time taken for 20 units it means when we are manufacturing 20 units how much of time required to produce average time taken to produce 20 units is defined as y here we need to calculate value of y again a time taken to produce a first unit it is given as 10 hours x total number of production units now we need to calculate for 20 units so total number of production that is x equals to 20 and last b learning coefficient learning coefficient for this question is 0.322 and it is ready made given by the examiner 
when information of learning coefficient is ready made given we have to consider the same without application of our own ideas insert the value after consideration of all factors in formula y equals to a multiplied by x raised to minus b log y equals to log 10 x number of units produced 20 minus 0.322 and log 10 minus 0.322 multiplied by log 20 check the values of a log given in our question and insert in the formula value of log 10 it is 1.000 minus 0.322 that is value of beta or b or learning coefficient whatever you say and value of log 20 1.301 it is given in the question as log 2 but as i said logarithmic table starts with two digits and that is why we need to consider that two as 20 value of log 20 is 1.301 log y equals to 1 minus 0.4189 this 0.4189 is nothing more than multiplication of 0.322 and 1.301 with the help of simple multiplication we can derive the result now move forward for the solution log y is equal to 0.5811 0.5811 is the result of 1 minus 0.4189 and in order to conclude the solution we need to check the value of anti log for 0.5811 you can easily check in the question value of 0.5811 is ready made given and the result of y is equal to 3.812 This 3.812 is referred to as average time taken to produce one unit when total 20 units are produced. And here the examiner has demanded calculation of total time taken for 20 units. So we need to simply multiply both the result. 20 units. total number of units produced multiplied by average time taken to produce one unit 3.812 and the result is 76.24 hours this is our final answer as the question is total time taken for 20 units so with this second question asked in the question comes to an end let us move to third question third question is all about calculation of total time taken to manufacture 40 units of the product why average time taken to produce 40 units that we need to calculate first in order to calculate total time taken for 40 units a time taken to produce first unit of the product 10 hours it is ready made given to us x total numbers of production units 40 and learning coefficient is 0.322 this is nothing more than a repetition of the calculations that we have earlier completed for 20 units 
formula y is equal to a multiplied by x rest to b insert the values in the formula 10 multiplied by 40 rest to minus 0 0.322 use logarithmic table in order to find out value of y log 10 minus 0 0.322 log 40 check the values of log 10 and log 40 in the given question for log 10 the value is 1.000 and for log 40 the value is 1.602 log y is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5158 5158 is the multiplication of 0 0.322 and 1.602 y is equal to 0 0.4842 these 4842 is nothing more than result of 1 minus 0 0.5158 and in order to conclude the calculation check the value of 0 0.4842 in log table y equals to 3049 3049 means average time taken to produce one unit is 3.049 hours when we have produced 40 units of the product our question is to calculate total time taken for 40 units so in order to calculate total time taken for 40 units 40 units multiplied by average time taken per unit 3.049 hours so total time taken to produce 40 units 121.96 hours after discussion of first three questions let us move to the fourth and an important question in a fourth question we need to calculate time taken to produce 41 to 50 units that is 10 units from 41 to 50 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 and 50th unit so we need to calculate total time taken to produce 41 to 50 units and this calculation is not directly available to us for the purpose of this calculation it is necessary for us to use some mathematical ideas if you want to calculate a time taken to produce 41 to 50 units you need to calculate total time taken for 50 units and total time taken for 40 units so naturally total time taken for 50 units minus total time taken for 40 units resulting into total time taken for 41 to 50 units what is the total time required for the manufacturing of 50 units that we don't know because this information is not given to us total time taken for 40 units just before a minute we have completed a calculation of total time taken for 40 minutes 121.96 and if we are able to calculate total time taken for 50 units we can easily find out the difference between 50 and 40 now i would like to put to your notice that it is not necessary that out of these two levels any one level will be available to us it may be possible that we need to calculate both the levels and this is extra work that we have to perform in order to find out the result as we have total time taken for 40 units let us move for the calculation of total time taken for 50 units it is nothing more than repetition of the calculation let us move 
for the calculation of total time taken. Why? Average time taken to produce 50 units as we don't know how much of time required to produce 50 units. A. Time taken to produce first unit of the output 10 hours. It is ready made given. X. Total numbers of production units are 50. And learning coefficient 0 0.322 as given in the question or else we have to calculate from the given information. Insert the formula y is equal to a multiplied by x raised to minus b. Insert the values y is equal to 10 multiplied by 50 raised to minus learning coefficient 0 0.322. Solve with the help of log table log 10 minus 0 0.33322 log 50. Check the value of log 10 in the given question. It is 0, 0, 0. We have two digits over here. So 2 minus 1 equals to 1. And 50, two digits. So 2 minus 1 equals to 1. And value of 50 is given in the question as 0 0.699. So we have to insert the perfect value of log in order to get the exact answer. Log y is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5471. This 0 0.5471 is the result of multiplication of these two factors. And the result is log y equals to 0 0.4529. Now this is the last value of log. So in order to conclude the answer, we have to check 0 0.4529 into log table. And check anti-log of 0 0.4529. The result is 2.837. Actually, in the anti log, it is given as 2837. Now, here we have 0. So, 0 plus 1 equals to 1 digit. So, we need to put a decimal over here. So the result is 2.837 and here we need to calculate the total time taken for 41 to 50 units. So naturally we have to calculate total time taken for the manufacturing of 50 units. We have produced 50 units average time taken 2.837. So total time taken to produce 50 units of the product 141.85. Now calculation of total time taken to produce 41 to 50 units is very easy as we have result of total time taken for 50 units. It is 141.85 and total time taken for 40 units. It is 121.96. So difference between 141.85 for 50 units and 121.96 hours for 40 units referred to as total time taken for the production of 41 to 50 units and it is 19.89. In final examination, these kind of questions are expected. Watch it twice or thrice in order to clear your concepts related to application of learning curve formula. I hope everybody is clear with the solution of this problem. Thank you. Keep watching the next two sessions. God bless you.